Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing another bang good review on the 3D gels. So this is the first row, what they look like. Some of the labels are very different than the actual color itself. I didn't really mind that part. But some of them are actually way off in color. I don't really care about it because I know because they're, you know, right in my face. But if you're looking at that and you have OCD, that'll probably bother you. So I'm taking my silicone pen thing and I'm just mashing it in, just getting used to the formula of this because this is very thick and very sticky. Kind of feels like clay, sticky clay. So here I am doing this over my form paper because I figured, well, you know what? I'm gonna do this because I always do this with acrylic. Let's see if this works, right? And then I went to go scrape on the bottom and it didn't move. So that was an epic fail. So I just, just scraped it back up and reused it. So then I just put this on top of this wheel and I separated because then I figured, well, a little goes a long way. So I just, started smashing them i am using my no like it's a, a prep solution because this thing was like really sticky and it didn't want to work so i had to use my prep solution so it's a spread apart but then the ink started coming out like the pigment from the gel started coming out which can cause a problem but i kind of figured that would happen it wasn't a bad problem but, you know, you keep on wiping, you know, your brush or whatever tool you use, it'll be all right. But I really liked the way it made this part. I did have a problem, though, because I'm not really sure if these gel, 3D gels were not uh, done right. Some of them were fine, and the other ones were a little bit runny. And you could, I'll show you. And the next one so this was my attempt of making a butterfly and you guys already know when it comes to my 3d i'm really legit when it comes to 3d um i don't like this better than acrylic but i like this for not to use acrylic i think acrylic you know after a while you know you gotta use a lot of monomer so this is a good you know alternative to do 3d but also i don't think that i would use it for anything else other than bows <laughs> this is a butterfly and as you could tell it was kind of flat and it didn't really resemble a butterfly and then when i went to go place other colors on the blue it just didn't work so I just used it with solid colors. I didn't mix and every single time I do my 3Ds, I always mix colors because I like to add details on my work. But with this one I did it and I wasn't really sure if it was because some of the colors were more pigmented than the others. Like this red one, you could tell it's very, very thick. Okay, and this one worked wonderful. I didn't have no problems with this. And this bow was the fastest bow I've ever done. So I'm definitely going to be using this for like bows and other things. But to make flowers or anything that would require you to have a flat, make it flat. I don't think that I'd like that for that. I got used to the acrylic and maybe that's what it is. Maybe some of the colors were not, you know, I didn't have enough, you know, what's it called? What did they put in there? cornstarch or whatever they put in there some of them was kind of runny i did enjoy using them it was very fun for me but at the same time i got frustrated because it was so stringy like this yellow one it was okay it was not as thick and then this white one if you could tell it is so stringy and it didn't i mean like i struggled so much with the white one the yellow one i struggled with and i will show you in this video exactly what i'm talking about so the yellow one was pretty stringy. Um, I felt like there was not enough. Uh, whatever they put in there, I just felt like they didn't put enough in there because as soon as I went to go try out for the flower, it separated a little bit on me. And I'm pressing actually lightly and just using the tip of this little silicone tool. 
and it just see how it just like it's just really really flat and it it was just stringy and it was just so hard for me to to work with so this is a white one i could tell you how stringy this was it didn't even want to come off of the silicone thing and then when i did spread it see how i told you that when i went to go put on top of different colors it blended too well like it blended with the actual color and i didn't like that i didn't like that effect at all so i tried it again because i'm not a quitter <laughs> and so i did it with my acrylic brush and the only thing that the white did was uh flatten out spread it out and that's not because of my brush and it's not because of what i was doing wrong it was because the formula wasn't right on the white it needed more cornstarch or whatever they put in this and um it just it just blended like it too well and you could tell see and then i went to go put the other one on top and it was just it created just a big mess so i just decided just to stop this part and you know just leave the video like this because it didn't really do much for me like you see it just blended together and it just i don't know i didn't like it too much so you could tell with the red the yellow and the white how it is see the white how uh it was stringy like that that's all that came in this jar so i'm thinking that maybe it's settled or or something it just was so hard to work with now the green i like the green the green did very well like i said some of the colors worked bomb and the other ones just sucked <laughs> and i'm very honest i'm not going to tell you oh all these colors was the bomb diggity and i lie to you and then you go buy it and then you you know you waste your money i feel like some of the colors were hit and the other ones were misses pretty much and i wanted to roll this to see if they worked the yellow one was all right but then when i came to the white one it didn't roll it just smashed inside my skin and it's not really good you even touching this product with your skin because of the sticky layer the only color that i really liked was the red one the green one the blue one and the pink one the white one was a male the fail and the black one was really good so that's pretty much my review so thank you for hanging out with me today and watching this video till next time